So my, my, my thinking, whenever I, somebody comes up to me and says, oh, we've got this big data, we love big data, we, we have a big data company, I always, I always, am, I, I always fall asleep. Uh, I'm a venture capitalist. I, I, they only have a little bit of time to try to convince me as to what it is that they're, uh, they're on about. Um, and too much time is spent, I think, in the abstract world. Uh, I uh, enjoyed uh, John uh, Elder's uh, talk when he talked about how, you know, just spilling out in a real physical way, in a way people could visualize, taking a bowl of candies and scattering them across the floor helps people understand, um, uh, you know, how data uh, is sometimes useless. Um, and, and so how do you actually make all the stuff that you guys are working on day to day uh, and uh, week to week and month to month, year to year on using this incredible power of data in a productive way. Um, my, my point is just tell me about the applications because uh, I want to know how it's saving people's lives. I want to know how it's uh, improving my quality of life. I want to know how it's uh, improving my capability uh, to interact and communicate with people. Um, an example of a big data application is a company, Karma, uh, that uh, I'm a, 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 I was a co-founder of. Um, and uh, it's taking advantage of the fact that all of these cars that are traveling down every road, every highway, um, are going the same direction in many cases. All the, the riders in those uh, cars are going the same direction, but all those seats are being wasted. How can we take that data, that live uh, data, and, and use that to use collaborative consumption to eliminate the waste and eliminate the environmental impacts of, of, the, uh, of the wastefulness of the carbon generation of, of all these empty cars. So uh, we don't have a problem as, as Google, uh, you know, Google is on right now about creating driverless cars, but the real problem that we have in society is all the riderless cars where there's just one driver in it. And even if the computer is driving the car, um, it doesn't make a difference if there's only one person se se seated in the car in terms of the impact that it's going to ha have uh, for society. It's, it's about collaborating the con uh, consumption, which I do think uh, driverless cars and ownerless cars, some of the things that, that Karma is, is doing uh, have an impact on. So crowdsourcing the public transit network, uh, the transport network, making that data available uh, to other users and making it optional, or you know, a good option, I should say, for people to uh, be able to use um, the the wasted capacity that's traveling by them, you know, like a stream down the road, they can just hop on one of those boats and hop off uh, where where they need to go.